some talk. Whoa, 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 whoa. You are going way too far with this one. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> What's happening, free game? We are coming to you live. But not live. You just came out of nowhere with that, yes. Yeah. From our home in London. We're in the studio. We set up for a nice mukbang. But it isn't just any old themed mukbang, is it, Mummy? Yeah, it's a Mexican mukbang. Yes. Yeah, and also we did another video of mukbang. If you want to go check it out, it might be in the description below. We chuck them up in the corner to be honest, Chaja. Oh, see? Yeah. see, it just popped out there, did you see it? Yeah, I saw that, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> we didn't tell him to say that, by the no. way. He's getting used to this. You've done YouTube before, haven't you? Of course I have. <laughs> Millions of videos. Billions, actually. Yeah, a few less than that. 339. Anyway, today's mukbang. We are going to be answering some of your questions. Thank you so much for again for responding so quickly. We put a post out on YouTube saying- Bob forgot to put the post out and he was supposed to do it like this morning. We? And then it got to about midday and you were like, I haven't done the post yet. So thank you so much for all of your questions. We're gonna get into answering some of those. We'll answer as many as we can. We may not get through all of them. And we're gonna eat some lovely food. And what we like as well for you guys, maybe eat your food along with us as well. Yeah, go and grab some food. If yes. you haven't already eaten, grab some food. Pause the video, go and get some food, come back and replay. We'll still be here, I promise. Your mummy, do you want to uh, take us through all of the Mexican style food we've got here? Believe it or not, I've never done this before. I've been at people's houses that have done like these kind of things, but I've never done these things, have I? No. So these are like kits that you can buy. And so I just bought the kits to make it easier. You get everything in there. So that one we've had before, so that's nachos with sauce and cheese. These are enchiladas. Ooh, that's a really cool word. Have you never heard of those before? Never. Oh, I think yeah. you'll really enjoy this. Yeah, I've never, definitely never cooked, made these before. And these are tacos. I have washed my hands, everyone, so calm down. Of course. I've got this like spicy mint. Obviously, it's vegan mint that you get from Sainsbury's. And but, yeah, you get the spice in the pack to just add to it and the sauce and everything. Guacamole, of course. We've of had, course, got me done. We've had that before. Refried beans. Hench Herbivore got me into these things. Jojo said he thought it was chocolate ice cream. Oh, I wish it was. <laughs> Have we got any ice cream? We have. Ooh, ice cream for dessert then. <laughs> yeah, let's have ice cream for dessert. Calm down, let's stick with the actual no, food we have here first. Please, go guys. <laughs> Maybe afterwards. Yay! Salsa, those over there are Mexican burgers. Yeah, that's Mexican rice that I made myself. Yeah, and this is me eating a cucumber. Hope you washed your hands as well. Yeah, cool. just a salad to finish off, so you can add with things, put in the tacos. Yeah. Right, should we get stuck in? Do you want to stop plating yourself up then, Jojo? What, do you want a bit of everything? Yeah. Yeah, you want a bit of everything? Well, Daddy, you, you start getting what you want, and I'll give Jojo what he wants. What's your favourite thing you're looking forward to here, Jojo? This. You want this? Yeah. Okay. Let us know, guys. Let us know in the comments. If you have sat down to eat with us, what are you eating? I haven't eaten that. Are you from Mexico? Yeah, are you from Mexico? That is Let's a say that. I'd love to go to Mexico. It's on the list. Yeah, that's what that's why I came from. Jojo thinks he came from Mexico. Yeah, I don't know why, but we used to see him as a baby when he had no voice. And for, for some reason, we just had some idea that he had a South American voice. Not specifically Mexican, we always said Mexican, but a specific, uh, like a South American voice. We can imagine him going, hey, what's going on? Where's, when's it time for my food? I don't know why. Maybe he was Mexican in a past life? Yeah, I always imagine he sounded like Danny Trejo. No. Uh, could you give Jojo a bit of salad, please, Daddy? Oh, you got a taco and an enchilada on there. Yeah. You're living the dream, mate. Do you want some of these refried beans? Of course oh, I do. you got a spoon, thank you. You've got that spoon for me, thank you. I'm getting myself an enchilada. I'm gonna get an enchilada of them. Right, I'm gonna have some of this as well, because these look nice. They do. Do you know what Jojo's was a Oh, casserole. we should have done a close-up on it. Never mind. Well, maybe Daddy couldn't do your magic with editing and do a close-up. Here's some editing magic. Do you want me to do your taco? Yeah, a bit of guac, mint, refried beans, taco, salsa. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Name the movie. What's that from? Taco yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, leave comments. Baby. Jojo knows what movie is. Yeah, he's bursting to say yeah. it. Thank you, Mummy. Oh, wow. What a great dinner, Mummy. Thank you so much. I have some rice as well. You want some rice on there? Yeah. Little bit of rice. It's a bit salty, that rice. Yeah, I don't need 
There we go. Oh, I'd like some of this. This is the sort of meal, guys, you have to use your fingers. It's just the way it is. Hang on, guys, let me just get some napkins. I think we're gonna need them. All right, Jojo's a napkin for you. As you can see, me and Jojo are wearing our onesies again. You know when you're in for the evening, you just, you know you're not going out and you just want to get comfortable. That's me and Jojo, that's what we always do. I don't have a onesie and I'm not going to bed late. Comment below, who thinks Bob should get a onesie? Excuse me? You should get a onesie. I've never come out of it though. Oh. You say, let's get dressed to go out and I'd be like, no, I'm going out like this. That would be so cute. I did wear a onesie, a Batman was like a onesie. I'm totally having so much fun right now. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Well, it was all in one. Shall we answer some questions then? Yes. Okay. This is a question from Charlotte Blue. Hello, Charlotte. Who yeah, does Bob this. connect with more out of Sam and Jamie? You have to choose one. Wow. I'm no. going to guess Jamie. You reckon Jamie? I don't know. I connect with them in such different ways. They're so different. They are so different. Like Jamie, if I want to go out and have fun and do silly things and that, it's more with Jamie. But Sam is more sensitive, sensible, talks and I can go out and have a lot of deep conversation with Sam. Oh yeah. And I have fun with both of them. And, oh, yeah, I can't choose which one, but I connect with them both equally, I'd say, just in very different ways. If you're new to our channel, then Sam and Jamie are our big kids. They're our teenage kids who come into our videos sometimes. Do you want to go through a question, Mummy? Yeah. It means I can eat them. These are questions from today's post. These are other questions they which- keep coming up, don't they? Yeah, let me have a look. This is a question. Why did you call Jojo, Jojo? There's a, a few different reasons, really. I really like that name, and I said it to Bob, and Bob was like, you can call him whatever you want. Dad was saying, you've gone through the carrying him and the pain and everything, so you can call him whatever you want. So I like the name. Also, there's a book called Horton Hears a Who, and there's a little boy called Jojo at the end who makes the final piece of noise. <gasps> Basically says one. So comment below if you like that movie or if you like the book as well. It's a Dr. Zeus book. Yeah, so there's that and there's a Beatles song which Bob loves the Beatles and there's one called Get Back and they talk about a guy called Joe Joe in that, that song as well. Really? Yes. Mm. Well I am a fan of the Beatles. And my sister's called Joanne and we always called her Jojo when um, she was a kid as well. Do you like your name? I like it, yeah. Only about 99%. One more percent. Because some people call me Joe, but that's definitely not short for Joe. It seems weird when people call you Joe. So I'm like, I look at you and I think, you're not a Joe. Right, let's go on to another question then. I'm going to ask this question because he obviously wants the attention and I love the guy, so I'm going to have to give it to him. Hench Herbivore. My question is this. Who's best? Who's best? I want you to say me. Thanks, bye. You're the best. You're the best, Hench. You Around. Know, you know you're the best. Now stop being silly. If you don't know about Hench Herbivore, go over and subscribe to his channel. He's one of our best friends and yeah. he's awesome. And he's doing amazing things as well. And he loves Lego. <laughs> he loves Lego. He's a bodybuilder and if you see him in person, he's huge. Hench. Any more questions? Now this is a good question from Rachel Allen. Thanks for your question, Rachel. Question for each of you. What is your favourite place you have travelled to and why? Jojo? My favourite place I've travelled to is Denmark. Still Denmark, eh? Why Denmark? It's just about like you build snowmans in the snow and... Because it snowed when we went to Denmark, so Jojo's got such fond memories of us being there because we've never really experienced... Well, Jojo's never really experienced snow like it before. But it's just a really lovely place and the people there are so conscious, like they recycle everything and they ride their bikes. Everyone there is happier, they, they say. It's like the happiest country in the world. So what's mine? Oh man, I love Disneyland Paris. I love Disneyland. Oh yeah, that was great, wasn't it? I love America. We just came back from Ibiza as well, and that was a, that's a Spanish island. That was really nice. But yeah, I love America. It's like, it's always a different feeling when you go there. Mia from Family Fist said it, and I said it to her, right? I said it to them last time we saw them, that when you go to America, it's like you step into a movie set. Mm. What about you, Daddy? What's your favourite country to visit? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm connecting more places where it's like there's lots of nature. You know I mean, it mountains and stuff. It doesn't have to be country, it's just anywhere you travel. Yeah, true. Down the shops. We're actually going on a trip soon, and Jojo doesn't know where we're going, but it's a really epic 
adventure we're going on. You've all heard the hidden away or hobbit house. No way. <laughs> Yes, it's not, more. it's not the Hobbit house. It's in a different country. For me though, favourite place. I don't know, I feel like Crete. Mm. It owns my heart quite a lot. We got married there and it's just always been such positive reasons why we've gone there. Do you want to answer a question, Mummy, while I'm yeah. much? I've got, I think, two more questions on here. Ah, what is Bob's real name? Bob. All right, what name were you born with? Yeah, a lot of people get confused with this because <laughs> they've seen or heard Martin being mentioned and stuff like that, especially if my sister's ever in a video. My original birth name is Martin and I'm getting it changed to Bob. It's Bob's been a nickname for a very long time nearly 10 years. Check the video out in the corner if you want to find out all about why I am called Bob now. Good video as well. And, mm. and, we, and he, you explained it really well in the video. So. I hope so. Because there's a really long version of how he got the name Bob. You seem happy about the long version there. Yeah, but the one you gave in that video, it was... Well, really acceptable by your standards of stories, was it? Glad I could deliver. Right, shall I ask the last, the last question that I have? So a few people were a bit shocked in the last video when Jojo told Bob to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I'm, I'm laughing is because I can understand from some people's perspectives that shut up could be interpreted as a rude word. Yes. Anyone that knows us knows that these two are constantly like having banter with each other and winding each other up. It's and mostly my fault. We spend a lot of our day playing around and being silly. And, and being different characters and doing yeah. different voices and acting different ways. Yeah, and so sometimes like Bob will be doing something, he'll be annoying me and I'm like, shut up, like we never argue, like trust me. Yeah. We end up laughing when one of us gets serious. That's how ridiculous yeah. this we, all is. Like, We've never even raised our voices to each other, but we're just playing all the time. What it was in the last video is Bob was actually singing a song, which he constantly sings. Never, never. We always say shut up, but we only mean it in friendly banter, you yeah. know? And that's how you've grown up, really. Bob's been brought up in a with a football background. He played semi-professional football. How many football matches have we played? Hundreds. Thousands. But I, I remember um, 10 years ago when I first met Bob and he was always like, you and your mates were always like that with each other. Yeah, shut up. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I guess for someone who's not been brought up in that way and not been used to that sort of thing, then it might become a shock. Like, why did he tell his dad to shut up? But it is just joking around. We're yeah. always joking. Yeah, and it's always banter. It's always banter. And, and the thing is, Jojo, you know not to say shut up to, like you wouldn't walk, say shut up to one of your friends for no reason. You wouldn't meet a stranger and say shut up to them. Or yeah. yeah, I wouldn't be just walking down the street and then saw a person just said chuff and then. <laughs> no, because no. it's not, that wouldn't be polite. But Jojo's a really, like he's one of the most polite, I'm not saying it because he's out, but he's like genuinely a lovely, polite kid and he's always concerned in case you might have upset someone or said the wrong thing, you know. Yeah. It's that familiarity with your parents, with your siblings, maybe your closest friends, that familiarity to be silly and have banter. He even did it with um, Darren, because him and Darren get on really well and they mess around. And Darren was saying about getting ice cream and he went, go and get it then. And Darren would just laugh. Yeah. But like some people thought, oh, is he being rude to Darren? And I was like, no, it's, yeah. just, it's just banter. He, he's so great. He's such a grateful kid. We made a video actually a couple of years back where we gave Jojo fruit instead of Easter eggs. Like he didn't get a single Easter egg. And he opened that box and he just was so, so happy. Whoa. Blueberries, melon, pineapple, grapes. Yeah. And we've done stuff like that for Jojo a lot and he's always grateful, he's always like that. It's difficult because you don't obviously you don't see all of our lives, you don't see all of Jojo, you see a little clip and someone said, well why didn't we discipline him when he's when uh, he said shut up, but for us that definitely did not require discipline because he was playing. So. And you could tell as well. You could tell that I just kind of like laughed along with it because we all knew it was a joke. You've all got that. You've all got people like that that you just mess around with, you know, probably maybe friends in your workplace or friends at school and you're just always having banter with each other. That's these two. And sometimes me. More okay. than sometimes. Next question. Oh, this is a really good question. I'm really looking forward to this. Kitty okay. Vlogs, thanks so much. This is for you, Katie. Do you still have your phone, Katie? <laughs> That's getting a heart <laughs> and a thumbs up. If you don't know, I accidentally said 
Dave Foon in a video and this lot have not let me forget about it. We've not let your Foon get about it. I haven't got that actual <laughs> Foon right now. I haven't actually. My favourite Foon. My what do you mean you haven't got that Foon right now? The Spoon. It doesn't exist. No, it's it a spoon. It's a Spoon. I haven't. I'm, That's I'm a spoon. Saying. I haven't got it right now. Oh, well, this is a fun question for all of us. This is from Izzy S. Thanks for your question. If you could be any Disney character for one day, who would you be and why? Oh! oh. 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 That's what my all sounds. Um, Donald Duck, because Donald is the coolest. Oh, God. That's right. He's obsessed with Donald Duck. Mm. I'd be like the main character from Treasure Planet. Why would you be that person? It's because he's just really cool and there's all action in that movie. And... Oh, okay. What would be your favourite character, Mummy? Do you know the first one that came to mind was the genie out of Aladdin. Oh, that's a good shout, Mummy. Because you could just go around granting people's wishes all day. That would be so cool. That is so typical of you. This woman here is the most caring, giving person in the world. The fact that you choose a character which is basically can make other people happy. That's just so typical oh. of you. Yeah, and also uh, it would it would be amazing to do all that magic and stuff. Yeah, to do magic, and I think he can fly as well. Flying's a good. Thing yeah, he can even fly. Oh, this is an interesting one as well. From Jennifer Douglas Craig. If you could eat only three meals mm -hmm. for the rest of your life, what would they be? Oh, that's a good one because sometimes when people ask this question, they say one meal, but three, bit of variety. I'm going to go straight in. Avocado sandwich, watermelon, watermelon smoothie, and, gra and grapes. <laughs> you did go straight in. I don't even think you thought about it. <laughs> yeah. You made it up as you went along. Should we do uh, breakfast, lunch, and a dinner? Okay, so, okay, breakfast. What would you have if you could have breakfast, any breakfast? I would have some sort of cocoa pop cereal with some mm. mango in it. You're okay, you're checking oh, some mango. Oh yeah, nice. Mummy, what about you? Mine would be Indian mangoes, a whole box of 12. Well, it's good to have food for breakfast. I literally will eat a whole box of them. They are my favourite thing in the world. But, I think yeah. I would just go for a, a couple of bags of easy peelers. I could just eat those. Clementines again and again and yeah. again. Mm -hmm. For lunch, Jojo? I think I'd have the lunch they serve at Ikea. <laughs> like chips, peas, and maybe a bit of vinegar and tomato sauce. Uh, and the meatballs? Yeah, and those meatballs. An Ikea lunch, mummy, what about you? I love avocado on toast. That's, quite, that's a lunchy thing, isn't it? With tomatoes on top. This is hard. Um, mm. I'd go for like, a tomatoey rigatoni pasta with like on a bed of spinach and greens with chunks of avocado in there. Whoa, and, like, whoa, 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 nutritional whoa, yeast whoa, on top. Whoa, 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 whoa. You are going way too far with this one. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Dinner Jojo. I think I would have hmm, it's hard to think of. Shall I say mine? Yeah. I would go with mushroom and cheese wellington. It's this thing that I may make at Christmas and it's got like portobello mushrooms, chestnut filling inside and then I cover it in a slice of cheese yeah. and then I put puff pastry around it and then I'd have that with like all the roast dinner trimmings like stuffing, vegetables, potatoes, gravy and then I'd have chocolate cake and custard for dessert. Because that is like that, my favourite. My grandmother. That's another meal. That's four. No, it's not. It's a part of the. It's part of the meal. No, it's a dessert. No, it's part of the it's meal. It's part of the meal. It's part of the meal. Look, hands up. Who thinks it's part of the meal? <laughs> hands up. Who thinks it's not? <sighs> Yeah, carry on with the mug bag then. Yeah, I think it's part of the meal. Mm. A dessert is part of the meal. Come on, Bella. <laughs> come on, yeah, come on, man. Yeah. Please. No, no, no. Nathan, help if you're watching, you'll help me out, man. Come on. No, we won't, Nathan. You got my back, man. Don't help him. Fireman's the best. I'm having chocolate cake and custard with my dinner, and I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> For me, it would be roast dinner. I don't know about the main thing, maybe like a kind of meaty style loaf. Jojo, what about your favourite dinner? I think it would be some sort of car, like potatoes carved into like the shape of swans <laughs> with like guacamole eyes and stuff. And also I would have some sweet corn and peas. Oh, oh. you're not sure what you would want, would you? Do you want 10 other meals after that and call them all one meal as well? What would your dessert be, Jojo? I would have dessert as well. My dessert would be a Minecraft cake with lovely chocolate chips. 
Mmm. Sounds, Sounds cool. Sounds good. Thank you for that question. Next question from Fluffy Marshmallow. Lovely name. Yeah. Would you try a zero waste challenge for 24 hours or even longer? I'd love to see it. Absolutely. We are always trying to be more conscious of the impact we have on the planet and reducing the amount of waste we use, especially plastic, is something which is big in our lives at the moment and we are really working on. We're not perfect, but like little things like I always use these um, round cotton pads to take my makeup off but I just bought reusable ones you just put them in this net bag and then you put them in the washing machine oh I bought a shampoo soap it's just like a bar of soap and you rub it on your hair and it's just like shampoo but it doesn't come in a plastic bottle yeah it's just like you know we've got keep cups we take tubs to places uh, we take our spork eyes or foons yeah uh, when we go places. <laughs> but so, I mean, there's, there's definitely more we could do, so yeah, it would be yeah. good to do that channel. Yeah, because I think it'll kickstart it for us. And they also asked as well, have we been to Earthing Ed's new restaurant? It's like, no, Unity Diner in Hoxton. Apparently it's popping at that place, really nice food. Hope to get over there soon though. But if you live near that area, or even if you don't, go there, because apparently it's amazing. This next question is actually directly for you, Katie, from Hannah Short. Me. Thank you for the question, Hannah. Katie, how old were you when you had Jojo? Please, please give me a shout out and my name is Hannah. Hi Hannah Short. So I was 30, I think, when I had Jojo. Oh, Jojo, here's a really good question for you. This is from I Lead Vlogs Gaming Rules. I hope I pronounced that right. If Lego didn't exist, oh my would you want to turn into a Lego person or a Lego piece so you could be someone else's Lego piece or would you rather just carry on living without Lego? I would turn into a Lego person. And then someone would play with you as part of their sets. Rather than live as a human without Lego. Yeah. <laughs> Lego is that precious. So if there's no Lego in the world, you go, right, I, can't, I don't want to live like this. I want to live as a Lego person. Yeah. That's an interesting question. Getting deep now. Mm. Or oh, this is an interesting question. What is your favorite accidentally vegan food? And accidentally vegan means it hasn't been deliberately made to be vegan. It just happens to be that it has no animal products and therefore it's I vegan. think those croissants. Yeah, those croissants just roll. They're like a pastry company. They do these amazing croissants. You had them in your Harry Potter video, didn't you? We found them and because of that video. Yes, thank you for if that. If you video. haven't seen that video, check it out. Yeah, some That's serious cool. green screen action going on there. I mean, Hogwarts action. We've had so many messages from parents saying that their kids love that video. Yeah. Shout out to Shannon as well. She came up to me at London Veg Fest and was telling us how much they really appreciated that. What's your favourite food, accidental vegan food, Mummy? Like Tesco's bacon crisps. There's so much food that's vegan, which you do, you have no idea that it is. Like most things you buy are vegan, but yeah. you don't realise it. For me, I'd probably say, I don't know, maybe Oreos. They're like the king accidental vegan products, aren't they? Because everyone loves them as far as I know. Mm. And yeah, they're just really tasty. And they've got so many varieties. The mint ones, I really like those. There's a couple of questions here for you, Jojo, about a very special person and subject. The first one is from Madison Scott saying, how did Jojo and Sienna become girlfriend and boyfriend? Ooh. Can you remember? Well, we met before Cook Day. That was the first time we met. Yeah, that was about three but or four years ago. I don't think Sienna remembered me, but I remembered her. No, because you saw her again last year when we were in Brighton at a festival and you saw her after and she didn't remember you. What did you whisper to her when she couldn't remember who, who you were? Um, can't play with me. <laughs> and they just run off together. So then so then it was the next day you went to the festival together. What what happened then? So, well, we went on like a bouncy castle thing and what happened was, while we were on the bouncy castle, I said to Sienna, do you want to be my girlfriend? She said yes. <laughs> did you really? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. No, because there was a lot of time they were off with Darren and Georgie that day, weren't they? So you went with them and I was on the stall. So did she say yes straight away? Yeah. Did you kiss her? No. But you have kissed her, haven't you? Of course I have. <laughs> <She> <laughs> Even of course. Like, yeah, and then kind of ever since then, you guys have just met up and got on really well and... I don't know, you just always wanted, you always held hands together and... Love's the young dream. And yeah, this is another question as well. So a lot of people have asked this, they're saying, how do you feel that Sienna has gone away to America? Do you miss her? Yeah. Are you sad that she's gone? No. Do you think you'll see her again one day? Of course. Or well, maybe in another country. Okay, you done with your dinner? Yep. All right, Jojo's had enough of his dinner, so he's gone to play for a little while. That was all the questions that he had anyway, wasn't it? Yeah. We've got a few more questions. I'll try and fire through as many as we can. Uh, Millie Scott says, Arsenal or Chelsea? I'm Chelsea. Uh, uh, probably Chelsea as well, but I do like Arsenal. I don't know. He likes all football. He played on Chelsea's grounds before. 
Yes, I scored a goal, Chelsea. He scored a goal, there you go. Abby Mohan says, is your cat vegan? She's not actually our cat, she just spends all of her free time with us and goes back to where she lives to eat. She even had kittens here. I know, that's how comfortable she is here. Madison Scott says, how did you meet Family Fears? We met them three and a half years ago at a place called the Box Park in East London where there was a meet up and they've got in touch with us before saying, you bring your kids, we want to know, can we bring ours? We said yes, and that's where Jojo and Sienna first met and hit it off, and we've been friends with those guys ever since. Molly says, are you going to do any more challenge videos? Yes, of course. We love a challenge video, don't we, Mummy? We do. Comment below any ideas, any things you want us to do. Yeah. We'll do anything, pretty much. Steady on now. <laughs> and that Alexandra Welch says, what is your role within Ethics Clothing, and how did you get involved with the brand? So... Uh, Tim invited me uh, a year and a half ago. He, you know, me and him would be getting on. We had the same vision. I wore a lot of the clothing anyway. So he was interested to have me on board. And I'm basically like organisational manager. I do finances or the admin. I do a bit of customer service, try to arrange different events and different things that are happening. And just keep the business ticking over and being successful and promote on social media as well. Oh, this is a nice one from Neve. Do you feel happy with the life you're living? Yes. Very much so. I feel very happy and I feel very, very grateful. Yeah, and you guys are a huge part of that. Mm. You engaging with our lives and our content and the message we're trying to put out there is very, very important and we appreciate every single one of you guys. Josh Lynn and Peyton is saying, does Jojo have a favorite YouTuber? He does, who would you say? Stampy Longhead. Stubby long head, long nose, I don't know. He's got two different channels. But he likes watching Family Fizz as well. He watches their video. There's one called um, Would You Rather that he watches all the time. Then he play, tries to play it with us in the car all the time as well. And there's one where they taste test Oreos, like they do an Oreo challenge and he watches that all the time as well. Oh, this is another question from Josh, Lynn and Peyton. If you got to pick your name, what would it be? Well, Bob, I did pick my name. <laughs> he did. What about you? What name? I would choose the name Coco. I like the name. If we had another baby and it was a girl, I would probably call it Coco as well. If we had a baby and called but, the baby Coco, yeah. would you still then change your name to Coco? No. Coco what, Coco. Okay, what, if, you're, if you didn't choose Bob, what else would you choose? Jason. Jason? Who's really? that like that? You'd really choose Jason? I always quite like that name, I don't know. Really? I don't know. I mean, it's a nice name. I love that name. But Are you I, sure you I, you've never told me that before, and I'm just like a bit shocked. I never changed my name, have I? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm content with Bob. I like Bob more than Jason. I mean, J uh, Jason's a nice name, but I'm just like just shocked. You've never told me this piece of information. <laughs> Sorry, I've been keeping it from you. Oh, can we move on? Did now? you like Jason Donovan or something when you were? When we were... we're definitely moving on now. <laughs> <laughs> this question, you, it might be best for you, Mummy. This is from Fluffy Marshmallow again. Oh. Do you have any delicious sauce recipes you could share for macaroni and cheese, stir fries, rice, and potato dishes, etc.? Do you know what works really, really well? If I was going to make like a cheese, cheesy sauce, cashew nuts. I don't love celery that much, but a little bit of celery gives it like that salty kind of taste. Nutritional yeast, give it a cheesy taste. And then one thing I've discovered in the last year is onion powder. A bit of onion powder in there. And yeah, a bit of water. Her cheese sauces are banging. Yeah, they are. Do <laughs> <laughs> say so myself. And the last question we're going to do is from Isha Tabassam. I hope I pronounced that right. If you could live with only one thing, what would it be? A blanket. Oh, you. <laughs> I'm kidding, there's only one thing, it's not a human, I guess. It's not, okay, it's not human, yeah. A blanket? I think so, yeah. The obvious one is everyone says their phone, but no. I don't have my phone on me all the time like most people do. Yeah, I think a blanket. I'd say a ball. A football. May, yeah, maybe like a size three football so I can use it for other things. Blanket and a ball. What a holiday that would be, eh? <laughs> so that is it for today's mukbang, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all of your questions and thank you for watching as well. And let me just say, none of this food is going to waste. We, no. do, we never waste food. No. This food, well, Sam's going to eat some of it because he's already told me that. And I'm not done. <laughs> he's not done. And anything we don't eat will go into a box and go in the fridge for tomorrow. But before we finish today's video, I'm going to do some shout outs for some lovely free gang who've requested them. I've sectioned out three here, we decided to choose three just because they're quite special ones. And one of them in particular as well, I promised I would give. So the first one is from Alia Sawa who says, Hey Family Freedom, I love you guys, you make me so, so happy. 
as I'm partially blind, your adventures are amazing. I wish I could do what you're doing, but I'm stricter. Have, I have ulcers in both of my eyes. I was wondering if you can give me a shout out for my birthday, as it was on the 6th of November. My name is Alia Salwa and I've turned 32. Lots of love to you guys and thank you for putting a smile on my face. Oh, Happy birthday. Happy I hope birthday. you had a great birthday on the 6th of November, just a few days ago now. Hope you got everything you wanted and had a really good day. Next shout out is to Archie Deacon who requested almost personally to us. So there's your shout out. It was great meeting you. And the last shout out goes to Moon Fairy Phoenix. who says, we love your videos so much because you always radiate love and light. That's such a lovely thing to say. We think Jojo and Katie are both winners, but the cute cat, she stole my heart. It's Cosmo's 11th birthday today. He is 11 on the 11th day of the 11th month. Wow. And 2018 adds up to 11th as well. That's actually today, so happy birthday for today. Uh, it's a very magical event, and could you give him a shout out? Yeah, big shout out Cosmo. I hope you have a great birthday, and I hope you, the family, all of you are doing well, and we wish you all the best. And if any of you guys want to shout out an upcoming video, leave it in the comments below. We'll try and get to it. We pick them up random mostly. And if any of you guys are new to this channel, and you like seeing our Q&A videos, mukbangs, and all of the interesting information you can find out about for us from these Q&As, and we'd love it if you subscribed. But hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date on when we do upload videos, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Peace out.